Did you know mice can have a reaction time as low as 0.125 seconds like the Razer Viper 8K does? That's crazy. I'm not just telling you that as mouse reaction time or also called click latency really matters when it comes to refined games such as Geometry Dash. So choosing a mouse with low click latency will help you get better at games like this. But before I show you how to pick your favorite mouse and potentially improve at the game, I'll quickly show you some other tools that you can use to enhance your performance while playing using external programs. First up, we have a tool called Timer Resolution. If you install the program, which I will provide a link in the description, you'll be encountered with this screen. What you want to do, click on maximum and you should be ready to go. But if you want to get your input lag as low as possible, you should also watch the video I've linked in the description below the link to the program itself. After that, we have a tool called MegaHack V7, which can increase the frames by second or FPS you play the game on. I will also leave a download link for that and the free version of it. As I think there are too many videos covering mega hack already, I don't want to go too deep into this. So let's actually start with the mice now. Part 1. Test out mice. To find your own style, you should test out mice in real life, like stores or computer shops, so you can see what weight or style fits you perfectly before choosing your mouse. Because I did the mistake to just follow YouTube recommendations and I ended up buying the Rocket Con Amo, which at the time was way too big for my hands. So make sure you test out mice in order to choose one you like. Part 2. Popular Opinions a lot of Geometry Dash players and YouTubers use Logitech or Razer mice due to the insane response time the mouse owns and by these mice I mean the Logitech G502 at a price tag for about $50. The downside of this mouse is the small clicking area. The left mouse button is very small so you can't use clicking methods like butterfly click on it. But the G502 used to be the mouse for Geometry Dash. Then we have the Razer Death Adder at about $50 as well. There's like no downside to this mod. Mice are very choosy and should be bought with an own opinion and style. As said, don't make the mistake to buy a mouse before trying it out yourself. Now I'm gonna show you some of, in my opinion, good mice for Geometry Dash. First up, we have the Glorious Model O or Glorious Model D. The good thing about these mice is the exact opposite of the G502. It has a very big left mouse button, so you can butterfly click on it and also use it for other games like Minecraft PvP. The downside of this mouse, it double clicks sometimes after owning the mouse for some time, even though you can customize double clicking in its software which looks like this. The next mouse I like is, as said before, the Rocket Con Amo. Even though it's brutally big, if you get used to it, it's a really good mouse. And here as well, not only for GD. There are no real downsides on this one. And last but not least, I have the Rocket Cane Amo. Just an overall good mouse to click and it's a lot smaller than the Cone Amo. Here are also not really any downsides. And with all of these mice recommendations, I mean it, these are opinions. I have enjoyed using those mice myself, but that doesn't mean you might. And that also doesn't mean you should buy them. As said before, if you want to get into mice for different games, you should listen to yourself, test mice out, and then make a conscious decision whether you think it's worth going for a specific mouse for a game like Geometry Dash or if tools like timer resolution or mega hack are enough for you. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.